Sterling Properties of Santa Barbara proudly presents Ken Boxer Live. From the American Riviera in Santa Barbara, California, it's Ken Boxer Live with your host, Ken Boxer, and co-host, two-time Olympian Ty Babylonia. Please welcome Ken and Ty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank Bravo. you. Bravo. Thank you and welcome to Ken Boxer Live. I'm Ken Boxer and let me introduce you to my lovely co-host. Not only the two-time Olympian, but she's also the five-time national champion and a world champion figure skater, Ty Babylonia. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. You're very welcome, Ty. Ty, oh, tell yes. our audience who some of our guests will be Well, in the I have a list because it's it's we're actually booked through February. Really? So, wow. coming up next month, Lou Ferrigno from The Hulk. I can't wait for um, that show. My longtime skating good. partner, two-time Olympian Randy Gardner, um, Olympic champion Rafer Johnson. Who, Who else? else? Who else do this we have? Oh, oh, two people. stars from Leave it to Beaver, Tony Dow and Ken Osmond. Yes, I can't wait for um, that too. Just yes. talked to Brandon Cruz from Courtship of Eddie's Father. Okay. Uh, Cherie Curry from The Runaways, the rock band The Runaways. Uh, who else? There's one more. One more. One more. Or was who that else? it? That was Is it. Is that it? But wait, listen. What? Tomorrow, I celebrate six years of sobriety. Congratulations. Yeah! Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Well, we have a fantastic show as well. Yes, Tell we do. Tell our audience who's on the show tonight. Oh, my goodness. She is gorgeous. She's an artist. And she is. She Absolutely. She is, yes, artist, model, philanthropist. I said it. Miss <laughs> Maya, Maya Spielman is here. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Maya Spielman. Yes. Stay with us. She's gorgeous. Ken Boxer Live is brought to you in part by... The Wildcat Lounge, repeatedly voted Santa Barbara's best dance club. The Eagle Inn, a family-owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And by Santa Barbara Chicken Ranch, authentic Mexican-style mesquite barbecue. Now back to Ken Boxer Live. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we are back. Joining us tonight is one of the most sought after celebrity portrait artists to appear on the Southern California art scene. Our guest tonight is Maya Spielman. Her painting of Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom is one of the most recognizable paintings of our times, having been seen throughout the entire world. Maya is also much sought after fashion model, but what makes Maya amazingly special is that she combines her artistic modeling careers for major philanthropies, in fact, her art garners hundreds of thousands of dollars for charities. Okay, let's now welcome the very talented and very lovely Maya Spielman. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Maya, yeah. is this the first time you're in Santa Barbara? Oh, no. This is a great <laughs> place, and some of my best friends are here, and I just, I love this town. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, welcome. Now, I have to ask you, first off, all of a sudden you're getting such name recognition. I mean, I know you've been an artist for a long time, but all of a sudden, why now? What's happening? You know, that's very interesting. I think it just, it, things kind of snowball, and you know, you put in years of hard labor, as they say, the 10,000 hours. Um, you put in so much time, and at a certain point, it just catches up. So I'm so excited. Some of the projects that are coming up, like Hulk Hogan, Mm -hmm. So I'm oh, waiting, WWE one. right now they're in talks to work with me or I may just work with him aside from WWE, but just to paint him as like the passion and the excitement. That's huge. It's just, Yeah, it's but how did so that great. come about? Yeah. Uh, I'm found on Facebook. It's so ironic. It's just Social networking. Everything Ty, you can speak about that as well. Well, it's, it's, well, I don't have a publicist, so I use it to my advantage, Twitter mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to start Instagram because mm -hmm. it's, it's really all I have. And yeah. If you stick with it and you use it in a positive way, it's great, mm -hmm. obviously. And obviously, Maya, you get all your work you're saying off the internet? I have, for the last five years, not mm -hmm. had to ever do any advertising, never have had to work with any gallery. I'll do events if I choose, rarely, just if I want to, right. um, because I don't have to do anything other than just post paintings on Facebook and 
make sales, and then I do a lot of charity work. So that obviously is a form of advertising. People see you, see your work in that manner, but um, just the social networking aspect has changed everything for me in the last five years. And it's all positive. I saw your, your Facebook page, but then I read your bio, girlfriend. <laughs> First of all, there needs to be a book and a film at some point. Thank you. Um, I was going to ask you about being born in a tree house. Yes. Can you explain? I mean, that's pretty wild. So my parents were the ultimate hippies. They met in 1969, Summer of Love, mm -hmm. and they ended up in Hawaii, and they found this hippie peace camp called Taylor Camp. So, you know, everybody was um, naked and running around eating coconuts and <laughs> fishing and literally <laughs> playing movie. naked volleyball. And I mean, I'm not going to lie, there were drugs involved in that scenario. I think not you remember with me. That? You remember that. Okay. So I was born in a treehouse. They built these treehouses, a collection of about 17 of them on the beach. Mm -hmm. So I was born in this during a hurricane, and I guess I wasn't breathing, so they dunked me in the Limahuli stream, and I came spring screaming to life. So I feel like that kind of formed maybe my character. You know, I believe in astrology. I know some people don't. Right, no, I do. <laughs> I do. But I think that what happens at your birth could kind of create that persona that you become, and I can just imagine me like, whoa, I'm alive! <laughs> Here I am! <laughs> yeah. Well, how, That's how long did you stay in that environment for? Uh, I was there till I was about three or four, and then my dad at the time was a drug dealer, so he took me all over his travels, all over South America. This is wait, so wait, wait, moving. A, 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 a illegal drug dealer? Oh, yeah. I was a, like a drug mule at age three and four, <laughs> and I was speaking Espanol. I love this. Espanol is a mean <laughs> language. Yes, yeah. But yeah. I don't speak Spanish now, and my dad's no longer a drug dealer, so we're all cleansed of that existence. But, um, you know, I, I have the <laughs> utmost respect for that uh, experience that I had. Right. And, um, you it know. It set the tone. It did. It did. And my dad ended up becoming the director of a drug rehabilitation center for the last 35 years, which is amazing. He went yeah. to prison and, you know, was rehabilitated. So I sort of learned this aspect in life that, you know, there's always some form of retribution and you can always fix and change and grow and become kind of a new person. There's always Absolutely. that ability to change. And I think that's something that, I mean, maybe that attitude is lacking somewhat. Okay. In well, let's see the change that was happening with mm -hmm. you, though. From an early on, w did the artistic skill develop early? Was the modeling skill prior to the artistic skill? What, when did that fall into <laughs> That's funny. Its I'm just imagining myself as a little girl trying to like pose as a model, but I think that that was always there. <laughs> did you do it then? I mean, were you modeling I think early? I was told that I was always like trying to be like sexy and cute, like my whole life. Like that was just my Let's persona. Let's hear it for sexy and cute. <laughs> <laughs> sexy and cute. <laughs> You're sexy. With a paintbrush. Yeah. Always holding a paintbrush. Always. How did always you be uh, painting? Yeah, so how when did you start, you know, painting? When so did my that mom, love start? My mom was an artist and she did die when I was five from the drugs, very sad. But you take the pain and I think that's, you know, maybe where my art came from is something like I kind of you know, I'm not gonna say did I take her art ability from the heavens. I do believe that it maybe happened that way. It was just yeah. very natural for me. I was always a great painter. Like it was just always there. I was painting when I was five and things were great, but I never really even thought of it as a career ever, ever, ever. And I was a picture framer and there was a painting and I just kind of painted some edges of the frame to match and everyone's like, oh my God, you just copied that Gustav Klimt perfectly. Wow. So apparently I was all of a sudden an artist and I then taught myself to paint for a couple of years, went to my very first art class and in that first art class, I received commissions immediately and suddenly was working for like Warner Brothers and moved to LA and was doing all these wow. huge commissions and it just kind of snowballed. I was like overwhelmed, just I couldn't believe it. And then I think it took me years to just kind of develop and figure out exactly what and style. And this was pre-internet, uh, pre internet, right? Pre -internet. Oh my God, yeah. you're talking, okay. uh, I mean, I'm 44, so this is 22 years ago. Yeah, that's I heard amazing. A dead silence in our <laughs> audience. Just, no I'm one can believe that you're 44. I'm 55. Oh my God! And no one can believe that wow, either. Wow! Cheers for that. <laughs> okay, let's let's hear it for me. Oh yeah, I am here. 57. 57. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, no, you, you look great. Thanks. You look great. Hey, but we have a montage that you brought with you mm -hmm. of some of the work that we were just mm -hmm. describing. So what are we about to see? Well, I have two, two different styles, and one is the abstract style. So that has the splattered, crazy paint behind it. That's something that I came up with about eight years ago, and you know, it just kind of came to me in a flash, and it's been my most requested style. Of course, the Kardashian painting has been seen like over a billion times on TV, and that's that style. It's amazing. You'll also see a realistic style that's like a photo. So people always ask me, 
the abstract paintings, how do you put that face on top? Is that a photo? No, it's all painting. Everything I do is paint. So I That was one of my questions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, I well, know. Let's, know. Let's, let's watch the video. Question. Let's watch it. Yeah. Everyone in the studio, watch the monitor. Our guest is Maya Spielman, and we were just want looking at some of her work. But here's something I can show our audience that you've done. It's one of your special paintings yeah. as well. This painting means a lot to my career. I was um, asked to do this by a, a great philanthropist, and he asked me to paint. Of course, we have Gandhi, MLK, Dalai Lama, and Nelson Mandela. And we call it Revelation of Peace. And this is a painting to commemorate four of the great leaders of peace. One of the most important aspects of my being is emanating the aspect of love, peace, and joy. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try to inflict that message into every single painting. But didn't you meet the Dalai Lama? Is so that, I what's almost, that story? okay, it was so weird. I like met, barely, barely met him. He was on stage and I was seated, seated literally five feet away from him to meet him. But there was a mix up, and it's always so funny to say this, but uh, with Kenny G and Obama and the Chinese government, I can't go into details. It's so co convoluted because of all of those people they messed up my introduction to Dalai Lama. But there was a lot of Secret Service events uh, going on because yeah. Kenny G was supposed to reform. Long story. The point was that he knew I was supposed to meet him, but nobody got to meet him that day. But he knew I was in the front row. So when he spoke about artists in our culture, and he said that the artists are the most important people in our culture to convey the message that Dalai Lama speaks about, which is the same message that I would love to portray of peace, he then we were standing in the front row with my painting and we were holding it and he just, he literally bowed to me like this d during that moment in front of 20,000 people and we were literally in the front row at Stable Center. I mean, it had Great to be story. probably the greatest that. moment of my that. life, yeah. I'd say. That's a moment. Yeah. Well, That's what moment. do you look for in the subjects in which you paint? I don't look for any subjects. They look for me. So I only work on commission. I never paint anything for myself. So maybe oh, one, okay. one time a year, perhaps, I'll paint for myself. Not that I don't want to, but even now I have 14 paintings due. So wow. I'm backed up. And, um, oh wait, I shouldn't say that because my clients are probably like, <laughs> gee, no wonder our she's paintings She's going to be a little late. <laughs> okay. Yeah, wouldn't, she's wouldn't here with us like, now. Well, wouldn't we all like to know what paintings you have on, um, on the walls of your home? Oh, all sexy women. I love to Seriously. paint a beautiful <laughs> woman. I, I love to paint the body of a beautiful woman, yeah. the face of a beautiful woman. I think, you know, I think every all artists in history really like to paint that. And that's why, you know, men are, you know, we love men for love, but I think <laughs> <laughs> they don't but, have all this going yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they could, they do at times. But um, so I think that um, that was what appealed to me really was to paint the beautiful sparkle of a skin and the curve of the, you know, the sex appeal of the woman. Mm -hmm. That's what really appealed to me. Well, let's talk now about the modeling career, though. Mm -hmm. How did that all come about? Obviously, a very attractive woman. That's easy to see how <laughs> oh, that yeah. part. But, but really, how did that come about? It was just funny because it actually happened more in my 30s. And just a ton of bikini companies came and asked me to model their lines. So um, Baraco Brazil, Vixen Swimwear, Trey, uh, Trey Soleil. And then I did some eyewear companies, Unique Cosmetics, Vixen Eyewear, um, a lot of different sports companies. I used a um, some mountain biking companies, but it was, I think, just the figure. You know, I just was kind of blessed, so it was weird to be doing it at 35, but I ended up doing a ton. And but then a lot of power. Um, Ty, do you I, notice so many of your photographs, many of your paintings actually have you in them? Yeah, I had to model for a lot of paintings uh. of my, when I, back in the day when I had to paint for galleries, I had to paint paintings to put in galleries to sell. 
Now, thank goodness, people come to me and say paint this or that. But interestingly enough, I'm doing a lot of modeling for actual artists. Okay. So I, an artist that I modeled for, Crystal Lorco, he just sold eight paintings of me. So that's been kind of fun. And I'm going to be modeling for another artist. Now, do you get a commission? Do you get part of that? Uh, of course. I no. Yeah, of course. That's I want to hear the Khloe cool. Kardashian. <laughs> okay. We have to at some point. Okay, yes. How did that come about? This, you said in our so, times the most uh, recognizable yeah. painting. Yeah. And, and I did get in TMZ. And then there was a full page article in National Enquirer um, about Chloe and my run in. So basically, I one day walked into a 7 Eleven, saw Rob Kardashian, and said, oh, I want to paint for your family. And I had to go to Hawaii the next week. So, like, because of the timing of it all, another lucky weird break, he said, Because I came back a week later, I was supposed to just paint Lamar, some basketball painting. Um, he said, Oh my God, you know, the anniversary of Chloe and Lamar is coming up. Could you do a painting? of their, you know, their anniversary portrait. So I said, oh, okay, that would be great. As I was painting it, every second of paint, I would just think, this will be on TV. This will be on TV. This will be seen by millions and millions. My soul, my every last breath. I didn't leave the house for a week. I was literally glued to this painting. His watch is life-size in full detail. Every detail is so flawless in this. A week later, and this is such an amazing story. One of my best friends of 15 years, and she happens to be right here, oh, was, nice watching, was yeah. watching TV. And she called me, and she said, guess what? It's on E! News. I had given it to them. They did a huge event, called all the news channels, and it was all over the news. It was so amazing. And it was so, so amazing for my best friend of so many years to be able to call me and say, I literally was dying. But that was the only the tip of the iceberg. After that, it ended up, um, the Chloe and Lamar show came out right after that, the very first mm -hmm. episode. They were zooming in on my painting, and I'm just like, how is this happening? So then my name was That's in amazing. the credits. Um, I had already been paid, so I didn't get paid more. Mm -hmm. But um, but there's mm -hmm. a, an end to this story yeah. in that so it uh, ended up, you, you were at a party. Um, I was at uh, the Roosevelt Hotel, and there was an event, and I saw her across the room. I was with another best this friend of mine. This is Chloe Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian, and I said, my best friend at the time said, hey, you know, let me take your business card, which has the painting on it, because of course it was great marketing yeah. for me for all those years. Absolutely. So, um, and let me just go up to her and say, hey, the artist is right over there. So I, ha she went up to her and handed her the card and Chloe goes, whatever, I'm busy. And goes, can't you see I'm texting? And is texting and throws the card on the floor. So I just posted on Facebook the next wow. morning, the story, and an hour later, National Enquirer calls me. And they say, can we run this story? And I thought, well, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to tattletale on somebody, but I wanted people to see that her heart wasn't really there. And I've never had that experience. People have always wanted to meet the artist or been appreciative of my hard work. And I really did slave labor, like really tried every second so hard for, you know, eight days to do as hard as I could. she dissed you. Yeah. That's she didn't make the, the connection. Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. She, she, yeah. And ever that's since then, she's never once called, and they use it in all their shows. It was shown on at least nine or ten different of the shows, and the wedding specials, every show there ever was. Could she just once call me and say, hey, thanks, by the way. Thanks for doing Okay, Chloe, if you hear, hear this show, are you watching this show? <laughs> give her Manners. a call. Give, give Maya a call. But we have another clip you yeah. brought with you. It's, it's actually, you're making some of these paintings. We actually can see... You're, You're going to see me do the background of the painting. So all of these abstract have a background, and then I paint the face on top. But okay. this is the background. Okay, let's and watch. That's, this is the fun part. Maya yeah. Spielman. <laughs> I love it. Good morning, everyone. I am about to show you how it really happens. And stay to the end, because I have a huge surprise for you. So stick around. Little mama wants to act right, to act like a lady with a property. Little mama wants to do that dance for me. Mm -hmm. Little mama gotta look right, she looks tight, but it's all loose and thick. Little mama wanna do that dance for free. I'm better on you, get some better on you.
I am filming everybody. What, that, that, that's great marketing. <laughs> That's wild. Do you always do that with the painting? Is it reality right now? The reality dip? is that I literally do that all the time. And then paint in the bikini. So, you know, that's just me. I'm the jungle girl. I was well, born in the treehouse. I get to do that. Well, here's the elephant in the room here. We've got to at least oh, describe yeah. this. You do a lot of, you make a lot of money for a lot of charities mm -hmm. and philanthropies. And dearest to your heart is this young boy. So, so please tell I'm just going to say the name of the website. It's maxloveproject.org, which is... Oh, so Max was four when I met him, and he had cancer, and I met him, his mother, and we became like instant family, our family and their family, and I said, what can I do to help? The next day, I posted something on Facebook, and we raised so much money, and I just kept doing this over the years. So I think we've raised, I always forget the number, but somewhere around 25000 Oh, for, congratulations. With my art, so and Fantastic. with donors just donating on my behalf, and, um, but Max does not have cancer now, and you know, cancer is up and down, so we're just, you know, we're always crossing our fingers, but right now he's doing great. And it's due to the charity. The reason that his mother created this charity is because they tried these methods of alternative healing therapies, organic nutrition, mm -hmm. equine therapy, acupuncture, and so many other therapies that help these children while they're undergoing chemo so that they're not just focusing on that negative aspect. Right. His mother, Audra Wilford, which is just such an amazing woman, and of course his father, Justin Wilford, they've created this foundation together. I just really want to ask everybody who's watching this show to go to, um, we're posting the information on the screen, but it's a L'Oreal Paris is doing a huge contest right now. And today the voting starts. This is so amazing that I'm here today. Yeah. Um, Audra is up for a Women of Worth Award. Women of Worth. Women of Worth. They've already been given 10000 for the charity. If our votes help them, they'll get another $25,000 for the charity. And well, let's hope that helps. It's for let's what she, go. I mean, she's let's done do so much. And he's That's not so seen great. this painting yet. In fact, oh, in about really? a week, in about a week, we're going to be showing him the painting for the first time. We'll be filming that, and I'll have that on Facebook. I can't wait. Just imagine the look on this kid's face. He's six now. You can see the scars that I kind of yeah. tried to paint in. But I love mm. the way that abstract shows the depth. It always shows the character, and those scars kind of show. And he's totally cancer-free now. Let's say that Not we're quite. always we're always hoping, but he's in a great place. So I don't know that he's 100% cancer free, but I know that he's in a great place right now. So the video that we just saw, mm -hmm. the when you did the background, uh -huh. that's, that's what exactly this what you did. You just were throwing. Oh this. yeah, and it's not you know you see it in speed. There's some things that go into it you didn't see, but look at this. These are my fingerprints. So I have a lot of fun with it, and it's yeah. transformed over the years. Was that after or before you went into the pool? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the fingerprints. So do you take a photograph, not not in mm -hmm. looking at a photograph, and then work mm -hmm. from, the, okay, oh, yeah. got it. Absolutely. Got it. Oh, His eyes are just, they say Aww. so much. Well, what so, an angel. You know, I had a question when I was seeing, I, I've seen your picture with Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, he's signing it, and Jack, yes. I assume, will sign yes. your paintings. Yes, so exciting. Now, do you have to get their permission? To oh, well, Kobe signed my painting for us to donate to Big Brother Big Sister organization, which we raised $6,000 for. Excellent. So at a huge event, and I was on stage with the auctioneers. That was very nerve-wracking because I'm like, please let somebody bid on it. That was scary. But I do events. Those are the events that I do. People ask me, oh, come do this event, that event, this show, that show. Nope. The only things I'll do is let me go on stage and auction off a painting for charity. That's what I do. So I have um, a few of those coming up. I'm actually doing a Vic Braden memorial event uh, for another event that I had done. I was honored by the Queen of Hearts Foundation for my charity work, and Vic Braden was a famous tennis player. He's recently died, so I will be on stage memorializing him with his painting. Okay. So anything that I can do that's charity related and helping people. But you have to great. get permission uh, from. Let's say you, you know, you. Like if you were to take a, Jack. if you were to take a, a painting of Ty, so, for instance, uh, would you need her permission? As to long do as it? the painting is 15% different from the public figure, then you're fine. I cannot then print that without paying a hefty royalty. I see. Yeah. In fact, I just wrote an article for Home and Realty Magazine. In fact, it's coming out tomorrow on the evolution of icons in history. And I was just discussing that exactly, that exact uh, situation. So. Okay. Well, you're also an entrepreneur adding this to the list, Ty. <laughs> what She's, don't you do? Has, Aren't you tired? Well, you ha, you don't I don't go horseback riding, sorry. I'm okay. not able to. Or she I'm not an ice skater, yeah. yeah. Oh, but she has uh, her own line of clothing. <laughs> we have your your artwork is on clothes. I, that'll be coming That's soon cool. on mayaheaven.com, and my regular website is mayagallery.com. But um, I am putting Jesus and 
Um, of course, we can't always print Marilyn Monroe onto oh, t-shirts, right. but we can do it for charity. So we'll be doing that as well on That's the website. Great. So it's exciting. Oh, for that reason, you can't do Marilyn Monroe because... Uh, unless I want to pay all the royalties. Oh, you're mm -hmm. still in this day? I mean, you still have to... She Absolutely. still has... Okay. Well, that was part of my... You know, the interesting point I came up with is that Marilyn Monroe is the only woman in the top 10 of almost all lists on Google searches, whereas all the other most famous icons are men, including Jesus Christ is almost the top of every list. Fascinating. Go yeah. Maryland. I know. <laughs> Isn't it? It's you just know, interesting. It is. Well, At least there's a woman on there. That's yes. All I can say. It should be you. But My time oh. goes by too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Time goes by too quickly. <laughs> Um, and we wish you all the success. Yes. Oh, thank and you. We, we're Keep like us posted so with well, I'm coming your back. angel. I'm coming back. You're coming back. I'll okay. be back in about three, four months, and we'll have oh. a whole okay, new Okay, we'll add her to the Booker, list. Dano. Yes. Put her to the list. Thank you so very much. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you. you. Well, that's our show for this evening. Uh, be sure to tune in to our next show, as we'll be joined by the incredible Hulk himself, Mr. Lou Ferrigno. I guarantee you do not want to miss this show. Of course... You can get your tickets to see Lou Ferrigno here live in our studio by going to KenBoxerLive.com, the website. Okay, so for our guest, Maya Spielman, and for my co-host, Ty Babylonia, and director, George Montalvo, and of course, the entire KBL crew, I'm Ken Boxer. Ty and I will be seeing you next time on Ken Boxer Live. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Ken Boxer Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Sterling Properties of Santa Barbara. Hometown feel, world-class service. Quisabella, Bella, Santa Barbara's most comprehensive day spa with award-winning service. Palacio Restaurant, where people don't leave hungry or thirsty. The Wildcat Lounge, repeatedly voted Santa Barbara's best dance club. Wendy Foster, Santa Barbara and Montecito's premier clothing store. Harborview Inn, welcome to Santa Barbara's premier four diamond luxury boutique oceanfront hotel. Via Rosa Inn, let us pamper you in international style. The Eagle Inn, a family owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And by Taffy's Pizza, delivery, pickup, or dine-in. Santa Barbara Chicken Ranch, authentic Mexican style, mesquite barbecue. Los Arroyos Mexican Restaurant, takeout. Woody's Bodacious Barbecue, voted best barbecue in Santa Barbara for over 30 years. Santa Barbara Bar, finally, nutritious tastes great. Sammy's Camera, new location at 530 State Street. Jack's Bagels and Bistro, serving the very best food in a friendly and relaxed atmosphere. Summer Lee, makeup artist, stylist, and aesthetician. Perfect Computers, your local computer experts. The Ken Boxer Live musical theme, composed and arranged by Mr. Michael J. Leslie. From all of us at Ken Boxer Live, I'm Baron Ron Heron. Good night, everyone.